making wild, crazy allegations about them. That creates a dangerous climate. And if elected officials don't do more to explicitly reject that kind of rhetoric, if they tacitly support it or encourage their supporters to stand up side voting places armed with guns and dressed in tactical gear, more people can get hurt. And, and we're going to be violating the basic spirit of this country. Yes. So, sir, sir, you know, wait, 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 come on. But this, but this is this is what I mean. This is what I mean. I mean, we're having a conversation. example of what I'm talking about, but it's also an example of how we get distracted. Yeah. Suddenly, we're all, we're, we're, y'all ever see that movie, uh, Up, that Disney movie? But remember that, that dog, and the dog's talking, and then squirrel, and they turn, and that's us, that's us with politics. We, we get distracted instead of focusing on what's important. So, look, I get why people are anxious. I understand why people are anxious. I understand why you might be worried about the course of the country. I understand why sometimes it's tempting just to tune out. Watch football. Watch Dancing with the Stars. But I'm here to tell you that tuning out is not an option. Moping is not an option. You know, my, I, I, I didn't mope as a kid mostly, but, but sometimes all kids kind of start getting whiny or mopey. My mother would be like, you know, you know what will make you feel better? Go clean your room. Do something useful. And I said, I, actually, that, that won't make me feel better. And she said, all right, but it'll make me feel better. <laughs> we, we don't have time to vote. The only way to make this economy fair is if we fight for it. All of us. The only way to save our democracy, if we together work for it, all of us. And that starts with electing people who know you and who see you and who care about you who understand what you're going through day in, day out. 